Do you know what's more fun than Python lists? Nothing, not even Elden Ring. Maybe, but seriously, in this video, we're gonna level up those Python list skills. We've already seen how we can build a list in the previous episode, but now we're gonna add things to it. And it's this crazy fun thing called methods. Hmm, what is that? You're gonna find out. So get your coffee ready or refill your coffee because I've already had like four cups and let's get started. Okay, quick sip of coffee before we launch our lab. If you haven't already, check that link in the description. I've got a free Python lab that you can use right here in your browser right now. So go ahead and launch it right now, it's free. And while that lab is launching, can I show you something really cool I've been working on? Check this out. I've been watching the Python for Security course on IT Pro TV, and check this out. I learned how to build my own port scanner in Python. Sure, you can use pre-built port scanners, but building your own, that's just cool. If you wanna try it, check it out, link below, itpro.tv forward slash network chuck, which by the way, IT Pro TV is a sponsor of this entire series and the reason it can be free here on YouTube. And not to mention they are my go-to IT training provider. I use them to learn stuff. And literally whatever you wanna learn in IT, you can learn it at IT Pro TV. From just getting your start with foundational skills to more advanced things like Linux, or the CCNA, or the DevNet Associate, or the CCMP, and of course, tons of Python. And you'll also be able to stay awake during this training. That's one of the, the features. I'm glad they baked that in. And of course, they have virtual labs, so you can practice all that stuff you're learning and practice tests so you can get ready for any exam you might be taking. So if you want to learn IT like me, check it out. Link below itpro.tv forward slash network chuck. If you use code network chuck, you'll get 30% off forever. So here is our gorgeous Python script because hey, we're going camping. You're coming, right? Yes, you are. In order to go camping, you need stuff, supplies to bring with you. And we did that in Python. We put together an amazing Python list full of the stuff that we are bringing. But you forgot something, and I can't believe you forgot this. Come on, get your head on straight. But seriously, we forgot toilet paper. Can you imagine what a disaster that would be? And actually, I'm going to bring a bidet because I'm fancy, so that, that'll be for me. You can use the toilet paper. So now, our task in this video is to somehow, with our list already created, we gotta add toilet paper to our list and also a bidet for me, because I'm, I'm bougie. And this is just one of the many great things about Python lists, because we can change these. We can add things if we forget stuff, because I forget things all the time, and apparently you do too, thanks a lot. I'm just kidding, by the way. Don't get scared or upset, I'm sorry. Anyways, here we go. So our task of the day is to add toilet paper and a bidet to our list. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, Chuck, can't we just go over here in our list and edit the list manually? Like, just go over here and go, toilet paper. <laughs> there, done, no. That's lazy. We have to do it programmatically using Python. Don't do that. So we're, gonna, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use a powerful Python concept. In fact, new concept time. It's a thing called methods. Professor Bernard, go ahead and tell us what methods are. A method in Python is somewhat similar to a function, except it is associated with object slash classes. Methods in Python are very- Okay, Bernard, you're done. You're putting people to sleep. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, let's stop talking about methods and let's actually use one to add toilet paper and a bidet to our list. Let's do it. It's, it's really cool, actually. And this is actually a groundbreaking concept you're gonna use a ton in Python, not with just lists. So as you learn this, you're kind of getting a head start to everything else, which is pretty cool. Anyways, here we go. So down here, type this with me. Our list up there, supplies. Go ahead and type it out. Supplies. Here comes the method. I'm going to do a dot and then type in append. Notice, ooh, pretty different color. When colors change in Python, we know something's happening. Something's cooking and brewing. And that's what's happening here. So uh, just after append, I'm going to do a parenthesis. And inside those parentheses, I'm going to add our toilet paper. Let's go ahead and do it. We'll do a string and we'll type in toilet paper. And that's it. So Let's go ahead and just test the script out before I explain what happened here. So down here, let's go ahead and print supplies once more, just like this, and let's run our code. Run, look at that. Okay, so some magic just happened. Our list now at the very end has toilet paper on it. Thank goodness for you. I'm using a bidet. So let's analyze what happened here. This append thing is called a method. A method is a built-in Python tool or, or function. And specifically for list, it allows us to change things up with our list. So with our append method, obviously we're appending or adding an item to our list at the very end. And you probably assumed, and you assumed correctly, sir, ma'am, that the uh, there are other methods and we can do different things to our list, which we will explore. But real quick, let's have you try it yourself. So here we've added toilet paper. You, I need you to carry it for me, please. Can you please add a bidet to our list? Just underneath that. Pause the video. Unpause, coffee break. So just under adding toilet paper, I'm gonna type in supplies, dot append, once more using our append method, parentheses, and then I'll put in bidet. Let's run the code. Yes, just like that. 
Not only do we have toilet paper, but now we have a bidet for Network Chuck. Which, by the way, I'm not even kidding about that. I've got a bidet in every bathroom in my house. If you're not using a bidet, what are you even doing? Okay, off my soapbox. Now, some of you may have tried this, and it wasn't a bad thought. You're probably thinking, hey, we don't need an extra line. I'll just add two in one append method, right? Makes sense to me. But if you run our code, it doesn't work. Using the append method, you can only add one item, one piece of data at a time, which honestly, yeah, is kind of annoying. So is there a way around that? Can we do something else? And the answer is yes. There is one other way we can do this. And this one is very handy. So let me back this up really quick. I'll type in supplies once more. And it's another method. Who would have saw that coming, right? And this one is called extend, E-X-T-E-N-D. Did I say that? E-X-T-E-N-D, there we go. And then of course, our parentheses. Now here we're not adding one piece of data, we're adding multiple pieces of data, which will come in the form of a list. We're actually gonna add another list to our list. Let's try it out. And actually, I want you to do it real quick. So you know our task, bidet and toilet paper. Add that list using the extend method. It's kind of intuitive, so try it out. Pause the video. Unpause, coffee break. Here's how you would do it. Here inside our parentheses, I'm gonna create another list just inside there. And I'm not actually creating a list, I'm just telling it to add this list, if that makes sense. Okay, so brackets, then a string. I'll say toilet paper, and then comma, one more piece of data, my bidet, can't forget that. That should do it. Now let's run our code, run. That did it, yes! So, with our extend method, we extended our list by adding two items at the very tail end, whew. Amazing. Now, can I show you one more fun way to do this? Watch this. Instead of using extend, we're gonna use something that does the exact same thing. We're gonna add a list to a list, but we'll do this. We'll take supplies and we'll say supplies equals supplies, which sounds weird, plus, and then we'll do our list of things we wanna add. So toilet paper and a bidet. And if we run our code, it should be the exact same thing, fingers crossed. Totally is, awesome. What's happening here? First notice that we're not really using a method anymore. We're simply using a plus sign, addition. Things we've already covered in this course when we try to add two strings to each other or two integers. And here we're adding two list, which is kind of crazy. So if we look at our equation, we're saying, hey, we got this list named supplies. We want this now to equal the list supplies plus this other list we're just pulling out of thin air. And it did it, adding those items to the end of the list supplies. So to sum it all up, <laughs> sorry. When you wanna add one piece of data, which will happen often, especially when we do something called for loops. Oh, I, that's gonna be fun. Coming up soon, by the way. If you wanna add one piece of data at a time, we'll use the append method. So the list name, dot append, and then whatever you wanna add inside. To add multiple pieces of data or add a list to a list, We'll either use the extend method with a list inside, or we can simply just add a list to a list. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so what if you don't wanna add an item to the very end of your list? What if you want it to go in the beginning or in the middle or second to last? There is a way, there is a method, a new method. So let's say that the bidet is probably the most important item we have to bring on our trip. So I want that at the very beginning of our list so we don't forget it. So I want the bidet added at the, well, the beginning. How do we do that? Let's try it out. Here we go. Type in supplies, our list, and then dot in our new method, insert. Ooh, and let's try it out. Parentheses, and if I want that data to go at the beginning, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna type in zero, comma, and then my piece of data, bidet. So what's happening here? Because with this method, it seems things are a bit different, right? Uh, we have two arguments that come into play. The first one is doing something, we'll talk about him in a bit, and the second one is our data, which we already know that. But this first thing, that is actually something we've already talked about in the first episode of this, talking about list. That's our index. You may have picked up on that. You may recall that our lists are ordered. They're sequenced. Zero, one, two, three. You got it? They're in order. And you can reference that order when you're trying to pull data out of it and now when you're trying to insert data into your list. So I'm telling this list, hey, buddy, bidets are important. And I want that bidet to be at position zero, index zero, when I add the sucker in there. Now toilet paper is Pretty important, but it's for you, and I don't really care about that so much. So just add toilet paper to the second to last position of our list. Can you do that for me real quick? And challenge for you, challenge, use a negative index. Can you do it? <laughs> Try it out. Pause the video. Unpause, coffee break. This is a fun one. I love when we combine multiple things. Okay, so here's how you would do it. I'm gonna do another insert method. So supplies dot insert parentheses. Now my position, if I want it to be second from last, will be negative one comma and then my data toilet 
paper. Let's run our code to see if it works. And boom, there it is, toilet paper, second to last in our list. Now, this might have been a bit confusing because in our previous video, if we wanted to print out the last item in our list, we would do this, print supplies, use our brackets and reference the negative one index. Run our code, and negative one absolutely means printing out the last item because there it is right there. Marshmallows, they're delicious. However, it's a bit different when we're inserting data because normally when we're just adding data to our list and we're not using the insert method, it'll always go down here at the end. But with insert, if you wanna have it go just one before the end, we're gonna use negative one and so on and so on. So if we want it to be third from the last, well, I mean, you probably got that right. It'll be negative two. Let's run the code. There it is, third from last. Whoo, okay. Coffee break, that was a lot. But I told you, right? Way more fun than Elden Ring or whatever video game you're into, this is real life. Camping, toilet paper, bidets, Python, man, love it. Now right here, you learn the concepts, but you need to concrete that into your brain, solidify it, practice it. So check out Network Chuck Academy, link below. We're gonna have extra practice, extra quizzes to cement these things into your brain. In the next episode, we're going to destroy some things from our list, obliterate, blow it up with some new methods. It's gonna be fun. And by the way, have you hacked the YouTube algorithm today? Let's make sure you do. Hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell, comment. You gotta hack YouTube today. Ethically, of course. Yeah, that's all I have. I'll catch you guys next time.